Um, okay, Gab, yeah, question four. What pre-tournament prep should I be doing? I think that depends so much on a lot of people, Rob. Um, for me, I don't want to be doing anything different on the day of the tournament that I would be doing any other day because I think that you can actually wind yourself up and, you know, you go there and you're so hyped up to play well in a tournament that you get there and you don't play well at all. Where if you can just treat it as an everyday event, okay? And from a pro's point of view, when we're playing so many games, it becomes something that you do every day. So it's not anything different. And you, you just get out there and you play. That's how I would, uh, you know, you stick in balling, just practice as you usually practice. But the biggest thing is how you practice. Get some cones on that field and practice hitting at a target. Not this delicious up and down the field hitting the ball that doesn't go to any particular spot. Because now you go and play and you've got to pass the ball to somebody where you've got to hit it to the goals. So you meet immediately under pressure. Just go and practice as you play um, in any game. Don't make it different. Just practice differently. Make sure you're targeting all the time. Five or six cones on the field, and every shot you're hitting is going to a different cone with a different shot. It's an open backhand. It's a neck shot. It's a near side backhand. It's a near side neck shot. And you're aiming at cones all the time. Practice that way. Do not just stick and ball in straight lines up and down the field in a hand canter. You do not play like that. So practice like you play. And if you practice like you play, that is your tournament preparation. Just don't do anything different to that. Because if you're really confident with what you're doing, you're starting to hit the ball at the targets. When the tournament day comes along, when the chucker days come along, you're already in a better position.